What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Good we chose current off-season look as he prepares to make his men's open pro bodybuilding debut in September. It's looking extremely impressive. He has been able to make some significant improvements and he has been able to grow. And the biggest takeaway from that is his waistline is in check. But for the first time ever, his front double bicep doesn't seem as impressive as it used to be in the past. And that is because of one simple reason. He is lifting up his arms way too much, as you guys can see in this comparison. Maybe he is experimenting with the posing. And this goes to show us how big of a difference someone can make with some little tweaks in the posing. So Vitaly Ogolnikov, aka Goodvito, has the perfect X frame. The sweep on those quads is outstanding. His arms are big, his waist is small, and I think he's gonna do very well as a pro, especially with Chris Asito in his corner. You guys must be familiar with Gabriel, the Brazilian athlete who has competed twice in Classic Physique Olympia. He has a great physique, one of the best triceps in the business. And he is currently prepping for Tampa Pro or Texas Pro. And as a young guy who has a bright future ahead, what do you guys think about him doing those 200 pounds bent over dumbbell rows with that form? Isn't it a little bit too risky? Because in my opinion, that is an injury waiting to happen. Gabriel is a very strong guy in all his lifts, no doubt. And he hasn't nailed his peak on the show date just yet. You guys can see some of his videos, especially this one in which he is hitting the back double bicep shot. That is next level. So at the end of the day, it is his call how to train, how heavy he needs to go. But is that worth the risk? Do let me know in the comments below. So Bahru Sabani still isn't sure that he will be able to fly to the US to compete at Mr. Olympia in November. Hadi Chopin had to go through these same terrible scenarios when he qualified for the Olympia in 2018. He wasn't allowed to travel, but he was able to make it in 2019, and that too at the very last minute. And in my opinion, that year, he should have won his first Olympia. So let's hope Behrouz also gets to travel and represent his country. Now, after a much needed rest post Arnold Classic Brazil, where he was victorious, Bahroz is back with full force and there is plenty of time left to progress in this offseason and I'm sure the main focus will be on growing his legs. The IFBB Pro League should take all the necessary steps to resolve his visa issues once and for all so that he can compete at the biggest stage in bodybuilding and against the best competition out there. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.